And now on Nishrin Daishonin. SGI members follow the teachings of Nishren, a Buddhist monk who lived in 13th century Japan. Nishren was the son of a fisherman born in 1222, a time rife with social unrest and natural disasters. The ordinary people especially suffered enormously. Nishrin wondered why the teachings of Buddhism had lost their power to enable people to lead happy, uh, empowered lives. Uh, he, uh, yes, his intensity study of the Buddhist Sutra convinced him that the Lotus Sutra contain the essence of the Buddhist enlightenment and that it held the key to transforming people's suffering and enabling society to flourish. The Dei Gohanzen, the Dei Gohanzen declared the Lotus Sutra taught during the final eight years of Shah the Muni's life to be the highest and ultimate teaching of Buddhism. The Lotus Sutra affirms that all people, regardless of gender, capacity, or social standing, inherently possess the qualities of a Buddha and are therefore equally worthy of the utmost respect Worthy of the utmost respect, the Lotus Sutra most clearly shows Buddhism as a powerful, life-affirming, yes, agri- and humanistic teachings. Based on his study of the Sutra, Nishrin established the invocation chant of nam myoho renge ko as a universal practice to enable people to manifest the Buddhist nature inherent in their own lives and gain the strength and wisdom to challenge and overcome any adverse circumstances. Nishiren saw the Lotus Sutra as a vehicle for people's empowerment, stressing that everyone can attain enlightenment and enjoy happiness in this world. He first chanted nam myoho renge ko on April 28, 1253, and later inscribed the mandala of the uh, Gohanzen, the object of devotion to enable people to perceive the enlightenment life state of the Buddha in graphic form. It is the philosophy taught by Nishirin that forms the foundation of the SGI. (laughs) 